अमेरिका में जब कोविड 19 वायरस फैलना शुरू हुआ तो टेक्सस भी इस वबा की जद में आया अगर से शुरू में टेक्सस में इस वबा का फैलाव न्यूयॉर्क से काफी कम था लेकिन इस पेंडेमिक के खतरे का फौरी सामना करना जरूरी था ऐसे में ग्रेटर ह्यूस्टन से हेल्थ केयर प्रोवाइडर ने सामने आकर उस वक्त कोविड नाइन्टीन टेस्टिंग शुरू की जब दूसरे सिर्फ तैयारी कर रहे थे इस हेल्थ केयर पार्टनरशिप ने टेस्टिंग के सबसे ज्यादा काबिल एतबार तरीके अपनाए अब तक दो लाख से ज्यादा अफराद की टेस्टिंग की जा चुकी है जिसमें से आधे से ज्यादा मुस्तक अफराद की टेस्टिंग है मुस्तक अफराद के लिए मुफ्त कोरोना टेस्टिंग की गई। कई मकाम पर बड़े ड्राइव थ्रू टेस्टिंग इनिशिएटिव की वजह से कोविड नाइन्टीन वायरस से मुतासर अफराद की बर वक्त निशानदही और क्वारंटाइन के काम में काफी मदद मिली कोविड नाइन्टीन से लड़ने वाली लीडिंग हेल्थ केयर प्रोवाइडर पार्टनरशिप का नाम यूनाइटेड मेमोरियल मेडिकल सेंटर है यू ने बर वक्त तशीस और सबसे ज्यादा कामयाब इलाज की शरह की वजह ऐसी यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स में कोविड नाइन्टीन पेंडेमिक के खिलाफ ऐसे लीडर के तौर पर सामने आई है जिसकी परफॉर्मेंस को न सिर्फ अमेरिका में बल्कि अमेरिका से बाहर भी सराहा जा रहा है so we are close to now, about 200, people in testing. And, uh, our ratio of uninsured because our initial uh, stages has been to the very underserved and minority communities so we are about 110000 in uninsured with no insurance um patients we have for testing we've been working very hard at dealing with an illness that has been killing thousands of people so when uh, at the united memorial medical center we realized that there was this pandemic going on we decided to be very aggressive and try to go after the the virus in a variety of ways from early testing to aggressive in hospital management to even an aftercare for those patients that had the virus and needed to have some help UMMC has always been there for the community and Mr Sayed uh, he the general partner the president he said okay we need to jump into this and start testing and my question was okay what kind of testing is that and the testing that we were going to do at that time was the by pcr which was the most known most correct and confirmed testing for covid-19 so i was okay with that and we we discussed it in the afternoon and the next day we were doing the testing we first thought we will do at a small level and then there was no testing offered anywhere else so we had more crowd coming to our hospital once everyone knew that we had started testing so then we had in our parking lot we had to do a setup to take the aseptic conditions and to protect the most important part was how are we going to protect our staff so we had the ppes we had the gowns covered coveralls overalls we had the mask the n95 we had the face shield we made sure that the staff was fully covered before they could do testing and expose themselves to the patients we are trying to cover as many people who people don't think about uh as we move forward and um i'm glad for the good news that we have here dealing with testing and we're not going to stop we're going to continue and i want to thank our ceo sebram i want to thank dr barone uh, i want to thank dr mullen uh and i want to thank uh this facility it is the first to stand it up ये तमाम तर काविशें तिब्बी और मालियाती सहूलियात एक शख्स के गिर्द घूमती हैं जो इस फाल इदारे के रूह रवा है और इंसानी खिदमत और बिलखसूस दुखी इंसानियत की खिदमत के लिए हर वक्त तैयार रहते हैं उस हीरो का नाम है सैयद रिजवान मोहुद्दीन अपनी फाल इंतजामिया बेहतरीन हमत अमली तेज तरीन तहरीक मुस्तैद टीम वर्क और मजबूत कमिटमेंट की वजह से यू एम एम सी दूसरों से मुमताज है जदीद तबी तकनीक मायानास मुआलजीन की टीम और खिदमत का जज्बा यू एम एम सी को मरीजों और उनके खानदानों का पहला इंतखा बनाता है यू एम एम सी का ये आजम रहा है की मरीजों को एक बेहतरीन माहौल में अला मैार की तबी सहूलियात फराम की जा सके अपने इस अजम और कारदगी की बुनियाद पर यू एम एम सी के लिए कोविड नाइन्टीन मर्ज का सामना करना मुश्किल न रहा आज यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स में कोविड नाइन्टीन वबा के इलाज में सबसे ज्यादा कामयाबी के नंबर्स यू एम एम सी के पास है दिस हॉस्पिटल इफ यू नीड समिंग यू थॉक टू दर्पोरेट सी 
and things are accomplished. We make things happen. And the fact that I work so closely in the administrative process, it really makes us be able to achieve things. In other big institutions, you have that multi-level red tape which takes you forever to accomplish something. Our success rate is directly related to the fact that we were able to implement innovative therapeutic interventions right away with, uh, with very little red tape. Mr. Sayed is marvelous in planning. I would have to give credit to him. He is a mastermind. He used his friends, every resource that he could have to help us come up with financials, to come up with uh, the PPEs. The most important was the PPEs. And we never had to borrow any PPEs. This hospital, Mr. Sayed, made sure we had enough PPEs, protective gears for all our staff and all the members of the hospital. So we can, for testing, diagnostic testing, we made sure, he made sure that he had to have PPEs every day. We never run out of PPEs. This is not a county hospital. This is a privately owned small community hospital. All our financials are our own at this time. So Mr. Syed reaching out to different, I don't even know what his extent of reaching out to his friends is, how people have come forward to help him to get us the supplies. And of course, that is a big challenge. Even today, it's a big challenge, the staffing and the PPEs. And somehow we are making it. We are never run out of those supplies. Dr. Moin comes from uh, almost now 30 year background of hospital administration. She was a state uh, regulator and she brings a lot to the table. And the second half was very fortunate to have uh, Dr. Joseph Varon. He was, he's a very, a uh, well-known physician in uh, Houston and Texas and all the most part of the world and that combination has you know made us put us in a very unique position and where Dr. Varon can freely practice like he was telling you earlier without any ad administrative hold which comes to us to hold to hold a lot of things so he's we appointed him as the chief of medical staff and he's able to manage. Another thing happened and which we do is we do a residency type of program for student teaching. So we had a lot of physicians helping in the background, overseas physicians from Mexico, from El Salvador and, and Chile, who's part of our medical team with Dr. Varon, who's taking their clinicals here. So that helped us to put one and one uh, care with the patients and thus the, those students are volunteers so they came from overseas and there's some are local so that is also a very key role into our operation is because when are you when you're giving a one-on-one -on -one, uh, care to a patient it changed the dynamics of the care so Sayed Rizwan um, he realized that again there's no testing um, no matter the cost of what it was um, he provided the test samples, he provided a lab to work with um, and the people to work outside as well. And it is hot in Houston, so he provided the tents and everything we needed to be safe as well, along with PPEs, along with masks. Um, it didn't really matter to say there was one, um, what were the costs of going on, as long as he knows that his community is taken care of um, all around the city of Houston. Um, that's really how everything started. Five Ten West Tidwell Road, one six seven five zero Red Wag Drive, North Houston, two zero six three five Kirkindal Road, Spring, Texas, or one two double one Highway, Sugarland, Texas. Me. चार मेन लोकेशन समेत कई दूसरी डायग्नोस्टिक लैब क्लिनिक्स पर मुश्तमिल यूनाइटेड मेमोरियल मेडिकल सेंटर इलाज और तशखीस की जदीद तरीन मैसर सहूलियात फराम करता है
जिनमें ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जरी पॉडियाट्री स्पाइन सर्जरी बैरियटिक सर्जरी ऑप्थेमोलॉजी आई सर्जरी पेन मैनेजमेंट जनरल सर्जरी प्लास्टिक सर्जरी ब्रेस्ट कैंसर सेंटर फॉर रोबोटिक सर्जरी इंटरवेंशल ऑनकोलॉजी न्यूरोस्टार थेरापी साइनस सेंटर यूट्राइन फिब्रॉइड एम्बोलाइजेशन टेलीमेट्री नेफ्रोलॉजी ऑर्थोपेडिक वेस्कुलर सर्जरी डायलिसिस इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज रेस्पायरेटरी केयर ए एन टी हेड एक्स सेंटर गैस्ट्रोटेरोलॉजी इंटेंसिव केयर यूनिट इंटरनल मेडिसिन मेडिकल न्यूट्रिशन थेरापी स्लीप सेंटर यूरोडाइनमिक और कई दीगर इलाज बहाली सर्जरी और तशीस की सहूलियात शामिल हैं अगरचे कोविड 19 के आने के बाद पैंडेमिक से मुकाबले की वजह से यू के कारोबार और आमदनी पर बुरा असर पड़ा लेकिन यू ने इसके बावजूद कोविड 19 से मुकाबले के लिए अपनी काविशों में कमी न आने दी ऐसा इसलिए किया गया कि इंसानियत की खिदमत बिना रोक टोक के जारी रखी जा सके even when they have like they need a elective gallbladder surgery they postpone it if patients need ear um, tonsillectomies they are postponing them they're scared to come to the hospitals and i don't blame them our doctors are suffering for business yes they are surgeons especially but the focus is covid what can you do every business is affected not only healthcare every business is affected and so we are another business our health care is also a business so our business is affected but again the focus is on how are we going to get over this hump this is a big hump in health care and we are trying to fight this and the more we diagnose the more testing we will done more people will di- get diagnosed and get treated on at the right time and that should be the focus insured uninsured or any status your priority of life should be taking care of patients so once the patient comes to your door our motto is not to ask their financial status not to ask their insurance status um is the priority is to take care of save lives right so is a very famous saying which i'm very true believer of is that one lost life is too many i tell them everybody same thing in my hospital so care for everybody that is what keeps us going and keeps us motivated that that do uh, uh, it's very difficult to see people um uh, losing their life because of any financial reasons if almighty has put us into a position to help the community all help anybody of any religion race and gender i think we should be obligated to do that i saw that this hospital um helped a lot um they stepped up when no one really did step up so that's why i think it was really important for me to join this community and this hospital because this team over here that i saw they work very hard every day and um i haven't seen that in a lot of other places um the dedication here the heart here or becomes a family and um when you become a family you help each other out and you want to do the best you can when you see people as family versus just you know oh this is just a patient no we see everybody as like okay we're going to help this person out cuz at the end of the day it's a human being not just a random thing that's walking around it's a human being with someone's life and that's what I saw over here is that they took every case every patient personally so they can care for that human life at the end of the day the cdc has some criteria the world health organization says something our president says something i said something the fact is that the viewers don't know who to believe and we need to have a unified uh force in which we say the same thing and the same thing should be fairly straightforward and and the, the management would be you know keep your safe distance wear your mask wash your hands and if you have any new symptoms something that you are not familiar with whether it is uh, chest pain, shortness of breath, new fever, new rash, something that doesn't make sense, seek medical attention because to date we have ways by which we can take care of you and fix you relatively easy 
if we get you on time. कोविड 19 के मरीजों के इलाज में सबसे ज्यादा कामयाबी ने इस वबा की तशीस और इलाज के लिए यू को इतना बड़ा और मोतबर नाम बना दिया है टेक्सिस में यू की रेपुटेशन को देखते हुए यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स आर्मी ने इसे ज्वाइन किया ताकि टेक्सिस में कोविड 19 के बढ़ते हुए मरीजों के रश को यू के साथ बांटा जा सके First, we thought we could do with 10 beds. Quickly, the 10 beds went to 20, to 20, to 50. Today, we have 88 beds devoted to COVID. And of course, staffing was the biggest issue. Nurses were getting uh, with New York and uh, big cities. They were hiring nurses from our region and offering them big money. So we had shortage of nurses here. Nurses was a big challenge for us. but somehow we managed we managed and then a military came our way to help us we have one unit about 44 46 beds devoted just to the military they they brought the physicians they brought the nursing they brought respiratory therapists pharmacists everybody the whole unit now is being run under the military so that is wonderful and then one unit is under dr baron they have picked our hospital to be the assistant from the federal government from us army to be the partners with us uh with uh, you, the complete unit uh, 184 people with 11 doctors and entire team so they manage one wing complete one wing of 40 beds and our doctors manage one wing of another 40 beds So that's how we've been managing um, the COVID section. We also partner with Texas Department of Health uh, Emergency Management, and we're serving a lot of rural areas. More more than Harris County, we get patients from rural areas. They life flight them here from their ICUs because a lot of hospitals are not equipped to handle ICU patients. Uh, community hospitals uh, in rural areas from small towns, and SATRAC is another department for the state. um they manage all this emergency uh, management so they are partners with us so they send all the patients for to us to take care of those patients the way we treat covid today is very different uh, as the covid that we treated in march for example we have evolved why because this backstabbing illness <laughs> changes on regular basis and presents in new ways things that every day i get surprised with a new presentation of the illness What we have learned is that COVID kills you by two mechanisms. Mechanism number one, inflammation. Mechanism number two, clotting. So we have developed a series of protocols that actually have allowed us to help people at United Memorial Medical Center, as well as four other places in the United States. We created the Math Plus protocol. Math Plus protocol is a protocol that specifically directs its actions on the inflammation and on the clotting. M methylprednisolone which is a corticosteroid that's a steroid agent A ascorbic acid well that's vitamin C you remember when you were a kid your grandma would give you vitamin C if you got sick because that enhances your immunity T thiamine another vitamin that is essential to the healing process and H heparin which is a blood thinner so that attacks the the blood clotting situation and then on the other one you have the inflammation situation अपनी मुनफरद कारकरी खलूस और सबसे आला इलाज की सहूलियात की वजह से यू ने कई कीमती इंसानी जाने बचाने में कामयाबी हासिल की है मरीजों को मयसर इलाज फराम करना यू का सबसे बड़ा नस्ब लैन है यू ने आमदनी और इलाज की रकम के जराये में कभी फर्क नहीं रखा इसी बुलंद सोच और अला तरीन कारकरी ने यूनाइटेड मेमोरियल मेडिकल सेंटर को कोविड नाइन्टीन पेंडेमिक के खिलाफ जारी लड़ाई में फ्रंट लाइन हीरो बनाया है please come forward do not risk your life if you do not have the finances don't worry about it please come and seek help we will help you this hospital is determined to help the community as well and of course we are we are desi we have the heart for the desi community as well to hamare darwaze har ek ke liye khule hain please aaiye aur hesitate mat kijiye ghar mein agar aapko shortness of breath hai agar aapko bukhar hai 
प्लीज घर में बैठ के टाइलेनॉल के साथ सिर्फ ट्रीटमेंट करना सही नहीं है जितनी जल्दी आप हेल्प लेंगे उतना कम ये वायरस आपको अटैक करेगा उतनी जल्दी हम उसको कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं आई वुड से इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू वर मास्क no matter where you are if you have to go out if you are in parties or whatever it is try to stay away from large crowds but always keep a mask on keep your um hands clean uh try not to touch your face as often um i've seen this hit every single type of age group it can be a kid it can be a teenager an adult an elderly um i've seen 19 year olds pass away with this virus it can hit anybody and you know we all think we're invincible but um it is out there and it is very severe and very serious if you're not cautious with your surroundings or what you're doing especially when you have to keep a mask on um no matter where you go just all again always try to keep a mask on then that's the best thing we can do right now um and that's basically it is try to keep safe as much as we can um and thank you for watching basic tv usa community se hamari darkhwast hai ke jo is waqt jo pandemic uh, pandemic jo hamare अतराफ़ फैला हुआ है और कोविड 19 उसके लिए जो वो यू कर रहा है उसके बारे में कुछ मैं बताना चाहता हूँ वो ये है कि हम दो लाख से ज़्यादा लोगों की ह्यूस्टन एरिया में टेस्टिंग कर चुके हैं और 400 लोगों से ज़्यादा हम लोग इम लोगों को ट्रीट किया है जिसमें से हमारा 94 परसेंट सर्वाइवर रेट है बेस्ट इन द नेशन एंड इफ यू एस मी आई वे बेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड 94 percent survival rate alhamdulillah so having having said that meri hamari desi community se request ye hai ki aapke paas koi bhi covid 19 aur koi bhi sehat ke issues hain to unse darkhwast ye hai ki aap kisi cheez se hesitate mat kare kisi cheez ki fikr na kare hame zarur contact kare aur website pe jaye यू एम एम सी यूनाइटेड मेमोरियल मेडिकल सेंटर स्क्रीनिंग डॉट कॉम इज़ अ वेबसाइट एंड फोन नंबर टू द मेन लाइन इज टू एट वन सिक्स वन एट एट फाइव ज़ीरो ज़ीरो आप फोन नंबर फोन भी कर सकते हैं और आप वेबसाइट पर भी जा सकते हैं टेस्टिंग के लिए ट्रीटमेंट के लिए क्योंकि आपकी सेहत हमारे लिए बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है um or it is no cost to you uh, so please uh, once again uh, i will request and appeal to our community uh, do not hesitate do not take a chance do not wait uh, please contact and visit our website once again i'm thank you so much for desi tv usa for taking their time out and coming and visiting us in our hospital